do you want to prevent stuff like this happening? The hell? Where did these zombie pigmen come from? Oh, for flip's sake. Came from the bloody pool. Or do you want to prevent stuff like this happening as well? La 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 la. Let's go to the never pool and quickly grab some stuff. What the hell? Oh, come on! How did the creepers get through the pool? Oh. Uh, if you want pigment, if you want to stop zombie pigmen from coming into your world and creepers going into the never world and surprising you there, then watch this redstone tutorial and this will help you out. Hey YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another tutorial, another redstone tutorial like that. This is going to prevent what you saw at the start happening to you, prevent pigmen from coming in from the netherworld, prevent creepers from going into the netherworld or skeletons or zombies or whatever going into the netherworld. So basically this tutorial is going to show you how to make a, a closing and opening portal using this redstone. It's a quick, simple, compact build. There is um, there is a more um, bigger build for, you know, um, it's, it looks more neater as well, the bigger build, but obviously some people can't fit that uh, where they put their portals. So this is a quick and simple compact one. If you do like what you see, uh, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, put in the notification bells on, comment down below if you want to see the other build. Um, if you guys want to see the other build, I'll do it next week or the following week after. Let's get right into the build. So the materials you got to need are exactly three redstone, one redstone torch, a block of your choice and the stair equivalent to it, at least one um, block of your choice, uh, I think it's one, two, three, a couple of blocks, just get a stack if you need, uh, one stairs, you only need one stairs, two dispensers, two buttons, one uh, flint and steel, uh, one water bucket and obsidian to make your, obviously your obsidian portal. Uh, you can either use two fr item frames to put in your flint and water still to show that you know uh, this is the button for the water and this is the button for the fil um, flint and steel or you can use the signs to tell you that's oh, you know flint and steel and that's water. So let's get right onto the build. So what you got to do is make your little portal. So I'm going to make it like here. It's going to be two. It's going to be a normal size portal. You can do this with a bigger portal, but then you're going to have to change up the red, um, what's it, the, um, it's going to look weirder, that's what I think, it's going to look weirder, you can have the same kind of build, but it's, it's just going to look uh, less neat, I think, but you can do it again, it's up to you, so you put your one dispenser there, you put your stone brick there, you put your de last dispenser there, that's, that's where you want to put your dispensers, you want to come behind here, crouch, so you don't um, go into the dispenser, Put your stairs there, as you see, and then you wanna put your block there, block there. You wanna obviously not interact with that. You wanna put your block there, so you want it looking like that, yeah? Then you wanna put your button there, and your button there. And you wanna put, obviously, you don't need the obsidian anymore, so you can get rid of that. I'm gonna put my signs there. So that's that, that's that. This is gonna be the water. This is going to be the flint, exactly like that. The water has to be like that so it can go downwards. The flint's going to obviously burn the obsidian down here, so it has to be on the bottom. Like exactly like that. Now we're going to get to the redstone. This is quick and simple. So you put your redstone here. This is the reason why this has to be stairs because if that was a normal block, this redstone would somehow connect to that as well and they'll both go off at the same time and it won't work and it'll, it'll just be overflowing water, that's all it will be. And obviously no one wants that. So you want that, this side is only one redstone here. That's all you need to do, simply like that. This side, you need to put one block there. Oops. One block there, like that. And one block there. So you put your torch there, like that. Then you put your redstone here, and your redstone here. It's gonna keep going ticking, 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 like that. That's why you don't put the water in straight away, because it would just be overflowing water. Now you go to your dispenser, you put in your water, you put in your flint and steel, and that's it. Simple. See how quick that was? So simple. I'm going to show you that it's working. So uh, look, portal on, portal off, 
as you can see the water goes a bit crazy there but it's still a portal off put on put off put on again one more time and put off so the bigger build that i was talking about that uses oh, look all those dropped items ahead of me <laughs> that uses all those um that um, that uses a bigger area so this is like a look it's a free by you know the size of the portal whatever it is so it's, look how small it is the bigger version would be like up to like similar hair and it's going to need a bit more materials like a piston and a sand but if you guys want to see that let me know down below it's a more neater water it just spits out water once this one obviously as you can see it goes a bit crazy it goes is that like, it's like coughing out pet, 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 water <laughs> but if you want to uh, you know need more water or something like that let me know it's going to need a bigger size obviously area so you you got you got, you got to put that in your head if you got a bigger area then obviously that will work let me know down below if you want to see that that was the tutorial hopefully you did enjoy if you did enjoy leave a like if this did help you obviously leave a like as well uh, let me know down below if you want to see the other one subscribe if you're new Put them notification bells on for next tutorials, next other videos I do. I'll see you guys next video. Bye.